Hi, my name is Sarah and I am an engineer in the US Navy and also a, a mentor with magic. Here I have Davina and Giovanna to talk about their project from this magical season. Davina, can you introduce yourself? Yes, hi, my name is Davina. I am a web developer at 8x8 um, and my uh, I've actually been a mentor for since 2014. So I've been uh, mentoring at Magic for quite some time and uh, all the mentees I've had have been really excellent, uh, very enthusiastic and uh, makes me happy. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And your mentor, your mentee this season is Gio. Gio, yes. give a quick introduction. Oh, hi, my name is Gio and I'm currently a sophomore at Eastside College Prep. I heard about this program through, through Carla, our director at school, and it seemed really interesting. So I'm really happy I joined because I was able to learn something new and then meet Davina. Oh, that's fantastic. So what was your project that you worked on? It is an NFL trivia game. So at first it has like a sign up page, actually a welcome and then a sign up and then it has um, trivia facts. It's not finished. So in the future, we will add more questions. Ooh, I love that, that you're able to expand it for the future. What made you pick this as a project? Well, at first we were brainstorming a bunch of ideas and then I realized like football, ever since we were little, I've always watched with my cousins and my sisters. So I wanted to um, make the project about something I really like. Oh, that is so cool. What was your favorite part about the project other than it being about football? Um, I feel like more like the ending of the project where I finally got to see it come together because at first it was hard with all the errors and then not knowing what I was doing sometimes. Oh, that's awesome. Um, what would you recommend for someone working on a STEM project or a computer science project? Um, I feel like they have to be really open-minded and patient because not everything comes fast. So at first I would get frustrated with myself when I couldn't figure out the tasks. I always had to go and ask Davina for help. But then at, at the end, I was really proud of my work. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. Davina, what was your favorite part about this project? Uh, well, my favorite part was pretty much the whole thing because it was my first time ever building a Swift application. Uh, so that was, uh, that was a challenge and it's very fun. <laughs> it was um, learning about the actual Xcode, about uh, the IDE. I'm, I'm used to IntelliJ, so uh, mo I do mostly Java. So, um, and as one of the uh, mentees mentioned that, that Java, uh, there's a similarity in the structure. Um, there, But there were also a lot of differences with the with Swift um, language compared to Java. So learning about those differences and then, so that, that was pretty fun. Oh, that's awesome. So what would you recommend to um, a girl, you know, who was looking into pursuing a computer science, um, maybe even just a project or even a career field? Um, I would say um, definitely follow your passion. Uh, one of the things that I've, I've, um, I've always told my, my mentees was to, um, when selecting a project, um, was to follow their heart. Um, maybe during that time, the the um, the idea may not seem STEM like. Like maybe how can I even integrate this with that? Um, but um, you will be surprised with how how you can integrate it. Sometimes. Uh, the project itself, the STEM project itself, doesn't necessarily have to be a, a, a fully coded project. It could be a robotic, uh, a robot, something, something else. Uh, but um, something that that is that you can integrate something with STEM with with something that doesn't appear to be STEM. Um, so definitely. Uh, do something that you're that you will feel good about um something that you're very passionate about um and regarding uh careers uh career wise i actually um i was not initially into computer science i was into architecture um so i had that architectural background where i designed and then uh tried to implement it but um 
during college, I took a computer science course and I figured that it was better <laughs> in the sense that I could work so hard on designing and, and implementing it and I don't have to wait so long to see the end result. <laughs> Oh, that's and fantastic. So that that was what, what made me turn to computer science was uh, I can see what I'm designing immediately <laughs> compared to I have to wait years probably for a, a home or, or a commercial building to come up. <laughs> that's so true. Wow. What a what a unique experience. I love that. I love the idea of the creativity as well, using using STEM and computer science to do something to tie into something that may be completely unrelated. That's yes. Gio, do you have any advice for someone who may be looking at pursuing either, um, you know, a project with magic or even computer science in general? I feel like even if you don't have experience, just give it a try. You might think like, oh, um, I'm not going to be smart enough or oh, it will take, it'll be too hard. But it really is like the mentors, like Davina was really supportive. She really did like take her time and to teach me. We even read like um, some chapters from the Swift book so I could really understand what we were doing. So no matter what, just try your best. Well, that's fantastic advice. Thank you so much for talking with me this evening. It was great to see your project come to life. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>